hackers are at it again. We found 22 SNES games coming to the Nintendo Switch. And I can't even believe it, but we all knew it was going to happen. Soldier Boy is back again with another device. My God, this man will never stop. 2019, we're still talking about goddamn Soldier Boy. Let's go. Uh, what is going on everyone? Alex Prime here and today we got two topics for you. First is the SNES classic games are looking like they're coming to the Nintendo Switch online service. The paid online, you know the one right now where all we get are these old NES games that nobody wants. But apparently SNES is on the way to save the Nintendo Switch online. The SNES games are what we want. And GameCube and N64, let's go. They're coming one at a time, just like I predicted. But now it seems like SNES is first up. So, a hacker by the name of Cappuccino Heck tweeted out that there are 22 SNES games coming to the Nintendo Switch. They found this by data mining the Switch after the latest update. And they found a bunch of SNES files, info on the game that were not there previously. So, these are the games, Super Mario Kart, Super Soccer, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Demon's Crest, Yoshi's Island, Stunt Racer FX, Kirby's Dream Course, Poppin' Twin B, whatever that is, Star Fox, Contra 3, Kirby Superstar, awesome game, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Kirby's Dream Land 3, Super Metroid, Super Mario World, the greatest game ever made, Pilot Wings, F-Zero, Star Fox 2, the one that was released on the uh, SNES Mini. Super Punch-Out and The Legend of Mystical Ninja, Super Mario All-Stars, of course, and Breath of Fire 2. 22 games looking like they're heading to the Nintendo Switch Online. It's probably gonna be like how we're getting the NES ones. Three games every month, or last this month we got two games. So maybe they're gonna space these out. How many, we got, we got 22, they can space that out for a few months by doing that. This is exciting news. Now, of course, right now it's still rumor territory because it's not officiated by Nintendo, but if it was data mined through the Switch, you can bet that this is coming. So SNES games potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch. Awesome, I'm happy, I'm excited because I don't play those NES games on my Nintendo Online, but you bet your ass I will be playing the shit out of some Super Mario World because I've been playing that new Super Mario's Deluxe uh, bros we switch we you switch whatever it's called i forgot the name deluxe version i've been playing that i'm about to beast through that beat it today so i got a hankering for some super mario world because that's the greatest game ever made and it's gonna be on my switch so i'm happy along with all these other games it's great news now of course we have no idea how this is going to affect the pricing does this mean nintendo's going to increase the price of the nintendo paid online hopefully not if they can include it within the 20 dollars a year price limit that would be fantastic just keep increasing the games but of course they might bump it up a tier be like oh hey you want those snes games you gotta add another five dollars to that year that's something they could do we don't know right it's it's possible but as of right now we just got nes games but these are looking to be on the horizon. Maybe it's something they talk about in the next Nintendo Direct. And uh, maybe they'll have some at the same day. Uh, but of course, we're not getting that Direct this month. Even though everybody's saying we were, but it, it didn't happen. Um, it seems to be the same emulator that the SNES Mini uses. Just like on the NES games, it's the same emulator that the NES Mini uses. So it seems like they just port that over to the Switch and use it online, which is fine because it's a fantastic emulator, the best emulation of NES and SNES games out there. So why not use that on your Nintendo Switch online? So exciting news, I'm super happy. But now we're gonna talk about Soldier Boy again, because goddamn, this man will not leave the gaming community. He keeps bringing out consoles. Oh, now what has he got? He's got a PlayStation Vita knockoff, my God. So this one is called the, uh, what, what did he call this shit? It's called the Soldier Game Handheld. And it looks just like a PlayStation Vita. And it costs $200. So this is what his little, um, his little blurb talking about hyping up the device. 
According to the console's listing, the handheld features exquisite craftsmanship and fashion design. It looks just like a Vita, but okay. Priced at $200, a reasonable price, the Soldier Watch handheld features a built-in camera for photos and video, TV output for gaming and movies, PC camera support, and a 4 by 3 inch 16 by 9 HD screen with a resolution of 480 by 272 My god, it is a thing of beauty. It also packs a multi-threaded task mode, meaning you can listen to music while you read an ebook, and it only costs you $200. It does more though. The product description also reveals it supports JPEG, BMP, GIF, TIFF, and PNG. It's got stereo surround speakers, practical features of calculator, stopwatch, calcul calendar, and several others. It has a sleep timer and a high definition microphone to go with that sub high definition screen. It has eight gigabytes of internal memory and uh, yeah you can buy this same device for a hundred dollars at a different store but if you wanted to say I got this from soldier boy you can spend double the money and get the same product this is this is great stuff this man is amazing he's just the greatest ever yeah uh, he doesn't actually boast about emulated games this time around I guess he learned his lesson but I'm imagining this is uh, to play emulated games they don't make that clear in this article here but I would think it is for that purpose, but maybe he's selling it without the games this time, so now he can get away with it. Soldier Boy, keep doing what you're doing. I think it's freaking hilarious that we constantly have your face all over the internet buying, selling us garbage ass consoles that apparently people want. I, yeah. Now you can have a PlayStation Vita Soldier Boy style with a sub HD display and uh, HD audio. It's amazing for $200 when you could buy it for $100 elsewhere. But good on you for not selling illegal ROMs this time. And it looks like you're just selling the device itself so people can go buy the ROMs or uh, download the ROMs themselves instead of you selling it to them, making it legal, I suppose. So that's uh, that's great news for Soldier Boy. He's back at it. He's <laughs> Maybe we'll get that esports team now, my guy. <laughs> okay, that's it for the news. Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you excited? To get some SNES games on the Nintendo Paid Online. And are you going to pick up this PlayStation Vita knockoff from Soldier Boy for $200? You got 8 gigs of storage. It's amazing. $200. My God. Alright. Let me know what you think about this. Comment section below. Make sure to hit that like button. Share. Subscribe. Do all that great stuff. And hit the notification bell so you see the videos when they pop up. Because YouTube... It, they're killing my channel. God damn it. Okay, bye.